It's a lot of lust, not a lot of love. Ayy, I stack it up, can't get enough. See you shorty, what you she look at me and yeah, she blush. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some big changes that's coming to FIFA 19. Let's go for 4,000 likes in this video, that would be amazing. And let me know down below in the comment section which thing in this video are you guys gonna be most excited about. We have a lot of new things to talk about and some really big changes that's gonna be different in FIFA 19. So I'm really excited, let's get right into it and let's start with Ronaldo. Juventus. A couple days ago EA tweeted this a picture on Twitter and this is an official FIFA 19 image which you guys have probably have seen on different social medias. I also posted it on my community page so make sure you guys check that out uh, because I'm posting a lot of FIFA 19 info over there uh, which you guys might have missed but anyway we have some new player faces right there. I think Ronaldo has an updated haircut. I'm not too sure if they're gonna look exactly like this of course when we're playing with them in game because it obviously is like every year it's different from seeing like pictures that EA makes and actually them in game so they could look still a bit different when you actually play the game but from what it looks like right there it looks really good of course the frostbite engine once again this year and uh, yeah you have Emre Chan there as well which I believe has an updated player pace I think also Dybala has a new haircut than what he had in uh, FIFA 18 but uh, yeah not too much uh, you know to talk about really just like a Juventus announcement here with Ronaldo for FIFA 19 which looks uh, pretty cool we can also see the Juventus stadium in the background so Juventus is gonna be a really exciting team to try out in FIFA 19 and I really wonder what's gonna happen with the journey now that Ronaldo has joined the Juventus that's gonna be another video which I will make but yeah very cool image and yeah let me know in the comment section how you guys think Ronaldo will do at Juventus so this uh, FIFA 19 leaked image has been going around on Twitter over the past week and we can see that there's some very important dates right here from when we can expect some gameplay on YouTube so there's an embargo for July 24th which is the first date and as you guys can see that day we're gonna get some chat Champions League gameplay which is really cool so we're gonna get to see you know the cutscenes and stuff everything that's gonna happen nothing with the journey just you know Champions League how the matches are and um, you know how everything looks the new graphics all that kind of stuff we're gonna be getting gameplay of that I'm not too sure if you know there's youtubers that's gonna be posting this or if it's just like you know if you like bigger channels for example EA themselves are gonna make some gameplay videos I'm not too sure but yeah in just a few days time actually in just like four days we are gonna be seeing some Champions League gameplay on YouTube which is gonna be really exciting then we also have August 4th which is in a couple weeks time not that long until and then we're gonna be getting the new kickoff so there's gonna be like um, you know there's new modes on kickoff right now Europa League I think there's more things we're gonna have a look at that later but then we're also gonna be getting some ultimate team gameplay as you guys can see foot 19 which is as a FIFA ultimate team so yeah we're gonna see all the new cards all the new design we're gonna get to new pack opening animation how it is every single year, you know, when EA uh, released the new things about Ultimate Team. Probably gonna see some new icons as well. Really exciting to see. Hopefully, uh, Steven Gerrard and uh, also Cruyff will be legends uh, because they were sort of announced at the press conference that EA had for FIFA 19. So that's gonna be really exciting as well. I cannot wait to see what's the new in Ultimate Team. Hopefully, they've also added some new things and maybe they've also fixed the Foot Champions a little bit because, of course, right now, 40 games in one weekend. I'm not able to do that. That is a crazy amount of games. So maybe they've actually to fix it a bit that would be amazing but yeah let me know in the comment section what is the most thing you guys want to see fixed or added into FIFA 19 ultimate team here we can see the official FIFA 19 the startup screen on the full game so yeah really cool of course we have Ronaldo in the Real Madrid kit so they have to change that it's gonna be really cool to see um, you know them changing that to the Juventus kits because obviously um, you know Ronaldo is not gonna be doing another photo shoot with them so they have to literally like just edit the kits and um, so hopefully they can do a good job with that but uh, yeah like it's just insane that you know Ronaldo has joined uh, Juventus and you know they're gonna have to change the cover they're gonna have to change every single menu they're gonna do so much with the journey that they have to change probably so yeah it's gonna be really exciting to see that but uh, yeah we have Ronaldo there and of course just like a normal startup menu we have some FIFA 19 colors there as well behind Ronaldo so nothing too much to say about there but yeah this is the official FIFA 19 startup screen when you start off the game. We also know about a new league that's coming to FIFA 19. Now this was sort of expected but we still didn't know if they're actually gonna be adding this league but uh, right now it's official and it's uh, so amazing because obviously this league is awesome with some really cool players that uh, people have been missing in FIFA 18 and you know FIFA 17. It's the Chinese Super League. It is gonna be coming to FIFA 19 so a few days ago uh, EA Sports actually went and did a photo shoot here with like the team that hold plays for here in the in the Chinese Super League so uh, yeah they did some pictures and stuff probably do a couple face cams you know things like that just to get like uh, you know everything uh, sorted for their card and you know just how they look in game 
But yeah, really exciting stuff that uh, we're gonna see the China Super League in uh, FIFA 19. We have some really exciting players there, of course, and uh, that you know we would like to use in FIFA Ultimate Team, especially, but we cannot do that because they are in a different league. So yeah, it's really cool to see the China Super League. It's one of the like coolest leagues that they could have added, and probably the most requested one as well. So I talked about this a few days ago or a few weeks ago actually in my video saying that this is one of the big things we want to see in FIFA 19, the China Super League. They have so many cool players, and I cannot wait to make teams around that league. It's gonna be really cool, and also do like career modes with those teams. I wonder like how much money they have and things like that. It's gonna be really exciting uh, to test out. So yeah, the China Super League is gonna be a new league in FIFA 19. A few minutes ago, I talked about that we're gonna get some FIFA 19 kickoff gameplay in a few days time on YouTube. Now here we actually have an image of the FIFA 19 kickoff mode screen and also the, the new FIFA 19 kickoff uh, modes. So as you guys can see, we can uh, have a look at UEFA Champions League right there, which is of course gonna be really exciting to try out. And next to that, we have UEFA Europa League. We also have Home and Away and also a thing called Best Off series. So there's gonna be a lot of new modes to kick off. They've actually like completely revamped the whole design right there for the kickoff menu. It looks really interesting and you know, a bit confusing as well because it's brand new. So we're not too sure what's going on right here. It also says wins zero and it also says professional AI. So, um, you know, there's like a new kickoff screen which looks cool. So hopefully uh, there's some really cool changes to this. At least I love the menu and how it looks right there. Once again, we have Ronaldo in the Real Madrid kit. So they're gonna have to update that, uh, that picture as well. It's just uh, crazy that they have to like redo so much. And by the way, when we get the FIFA 19 demo, uh, yeah, we're gonna see Ronaldo in Real Madrid kits. They have not updated him to uh, Juventus just yet in the demo. So that is also a bit weird. But yeah, still Ronaldo in Real Madrid kit. They're gonna have to update that. And yeah, brand new kickoff screen, which looks great. Let me know in the comment section. Are you guys most excited to try out Champions League or Europa League? Of course, I'm super excited to try out both. But most importantly, try out Champions League in FIFA for the first time in many years. It's gonna be really exciting. There's been a lot of rumors going around on Twitter recently that uh, EA are gonna be adding a third kit into Ultimate Team, which is, of course is a really nice addition uh, because right now you obviously have two kits, but of course, you know, every single team has a third kit as well in case maybe both of the first kits are like a bit similar uh, to your opponent's kits. You can have a third one, which hopefully looks way different than what your first uh, two kits looks like at least. And of course, you know, it would just make it more realistic, more cool. Um, and it, I, I think this would be a great addition to, to the game, honestly. Of course, you're gonna have to update a lot more than just this but this is like a small new feature which would be nice and you know just to see like a third kit because sometimes when you choose kits you can have like exactly the same um you know type of color for the home kit and away kit so a third one would be nice as well and you know of course uh, yeah as i said every team has that in real life so i would like to have the liverpool home kit i would like to have the liverpool away kit and also the liverpool third kit in my ultimate team and hopefully this is going to be a great new addition to fifa ultimate team but for right now it's just a rumor it's not confirmed but so yeah, hopefully this happens in the new game. This next feature is a big one for all career mode fans, including myself. I love career mode, I've been playing it so much recently in FIFA 18, and hopefully they can do so much more to improve it in FIFA 19, and just make it absolutely amazing, one of the best game modes in the game. Uh, but yeah, we have a really big new feature coming to career mode, and that is career mode into cutscenes, like we have in the journey. So as you guys know, after Alexandra had a game or something, sometimes he would have like an interview, and he would talk about like what he thought of the game, and you know, you can answer a few questions you have a few options and stuff to tell the journalist whatever you want to say so things like that is going to be in career mode uh, at least the player career mode then also in manager mode we're going to be getting into your cutscenes in the press conferences which is also just amazing i cannot wait to see that because obviously right now when you do like a press conference in fifa 18 career mode you just press like two buttons and you just choose whatever you want to say it is really bad it's really boring nobody does it but right now in fifa 19 there's going to be cutscenes you now get to choose different things what to say in press conferences before the game after the game what you thought about different things and uh, maybe like uh, post-match uh, interviews as well uh, with like you just talking to one journalist you know things like that is gonna be really cool you're really gonna feel like you are the manager right now you're gonna see a lot more cutscenes and things like that so that is just like a big uh, bonus big plus and uh, yeah I, I sort of saw this coming as well uh, because it's like just like an obvious thing that they should add and uh, now that they have the journey as well so yeah really cool thing for the career mode fans including myself I cannot wait to see this all the new cartoons and hopefully
obviously there's many more like um, you know uh, varied cutscenes as well not a lot like everyone looks the same hopefully they have like different press conference from like uh, depending on which club you are in maybe like if you're on Liverpool you know things are looking different than you know if you were to be like a different club in a Premier League so I'm just excited about it everything guys let me know in the comment section if you're excited about this career mode news and if you also actually play career mode but I know a lot of you guys do not do that but it's a really fun mode and it's one of my favorites right now probably my favorite uh, thing to do right now in FIFA so I cannot wait for this really excited to show you guys more FIFA 19 career mode when we get more gameplay I'm just gonna talk about this FIFA 19 ultimate team design because I thought it was really nice as you guys can see we have some uh, ones to watch cards right there and apparently one of the cards was uh, like leaked or something and apparently everything is gonna be having like a FOT19 logo in the background of the cards which I'm not too sure what I uh, you know think about I think the cards right here do, do indeed look great but of course it's just a design so it might not be actually how they look in the game but yeah let me know in the comment section right now who could be a wants to watch card in a FIFA 19 let me know in the comment section of course you know Liverpool has signed the Shakiri and they have now also signed Allison, which I'm probably gonna pick up when the game comes out and also you know if we get Fakir then that would be amazing as well but you never know what's gonna happen right there uh, there's been a lot of other great transfers such as Felipe Anderson to West Ham looks like a really uh, cool uh, transfer as well so hopefully he's gonna do really well in the Premier League we have uh, Jorginho as well for Chelsea and of course you know a few other really cool players right there so let me know in the comment section what is your favorite transfer so far this summer I mean Ronaldo probably also has, has to get one but uh, actually what they have in FIFA 18 at least is that wants to watch cards are for players under the age of 30 so I'm not too sure if they're actually gonna have one for Ronaldo but I will have to wait and see they probably are gonna do that because obviously it's Ronaldo so it would be stupid to not do that but yeah I will have to wait and see guys let me know in the comment section what's been your favorite transfer so far this summer and which ones to watch card are you guys looking forward to getting in FIFA 19 now this new feature might be my favorite thing so far in this video and that is the new tunnel cutscenes in FIFA 19 Champions League which are gonna be amazing it looks really great even though the quality of this video is not the best you guys can see uh, how it looks right there in the tunnel before the the game starts now so far we only know about this in uh, the uh, Atletico Madrid Stadium we haven't seen any more tunnel cutscenes from different stadiums for example uh, you know Real Madrid Stadium or like a PSG Stadium anything like that but most likely we're gonna see some uh, tunnel cutscenes as well from that when we get some uh, Champions League game in a few days time but so far we have the Atletico Madrid Stadium out here which looks really great and I cannot wait to see how like how many different ones they have hopefully uh, at least like 10 different stadiums with tunnel cutscenes would be cool hopefully it's just not like one uh, for this Atletico Go Madrid Stadium, but hopefully there is many more than just this one. So really cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. Once again, like a couple months ago, I talked about this. I really wanted to see tunnel cutscenes in FIFA 19 uh, because obviously they have they have it in PES, and it always looks really great in PES and uh, before the game begins, and it gets you hyped up and uh, before the game starts. So it's about time that this has been added, and it looks uh, great so far. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new feature, tunnel cutscenes in FIFA 19. I have some more FIFA 19 carry mode info and this is of course for the manager mode and in FIFA 19 managers will be customizable like players in player career so that means that you do not have to choose between like nine different managers right now you can actually make your own uh, manager you can design his hair you can design uh, you know his face you can design his height his weight everything you can design about your manager so you can make a unique face and unique uh, you know manager to have in the FIFA 19 which is uh, really cool so this is of course similar to what we have in you know player career where you can literally to design your own player now you're gonna be able to design your role manager so this has once again been really requested by uh, fans in the FIFA 18 and stuff uh, because obviously you know it gets a bit boring after starting like eight to nine career modes and you have the same guy all the time it's always cool to have something uh, unique and special so this is gonna be a great feature to FIFA 19 let me know in the comment section if you guys are excited about this especially I think the career mode fans are gonna be really hyped about this because it's been one of the most requested things since FIFA 18 career mode came out so that is all the FIFA 19 info for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let's go for 4,000 likes. That'd be awesome. And stay tuned for another video maybe tomorrow or in a couple days time because I'm going to talk about what will actually happen with the journey right now because obviously Ronaldo has now joined a new club and it's going to be crazy to see what happens. But I have some really cool theories and things that could happen. So if you guys want to see that video, let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys also subscribe for more FIFA 19 info. I'm going to start posting a lot more right now because we're getting closer to gameplay. We're getting closer to the demo and of course the full release as well in a couple months time which is going to be of course really amazing but anyway that is all for now thank you once again so much for watching have a great day and yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace out